Well, this was the standard pattern headgear of the German infantryman up until about 1917 when the German helmet came into being. This is the Pickelhaube or spiked helmet. In this case it's leather body with metal fixtures and fittings. The cockades to the side which are missing from this example you'd have a bolt that would go through there and you would have a coloured cockade on this side which would be the colours of the Imperial Germany and on that side you'd have another cockade and it would be in the colours of the particular area of Germany whether it be um, Prussia, Württemberg, Hesse all the Imperial German states of what was Imperial Germany had their own cockade with their own colour scheme and that would tell you where the guy was from the badge on the front it's the typical Prussian infantryman's badge again the badge on the front would denote where the guy was from you would have various um, state emblems such as lions and it, it would all reflect the state in this case it's the Prussian state um, what's missing from this one there should be a sword in the bird's foot there now this particular one is battle damaged in that it was worn by a German soldier which was caught in an allied bombardment an artillery bombardment in 1916 and the guy who souvenired this was in the Lincolnshire Regiment and he and his mates stormed this German trench in the First World War following the bombardment and he picked up this pickle halb. Now during the bombardment the, when a shell explodes in midair it explodes into what's called shrapnel that's to say the actual shell breaks up and it flies through the air cutting down anything in its path and that's what's happened to this one the resulting explosion of the shell and the shrapnel has torn off the badge it's damaged the eagle's foot because there should be a sword coming out at this angle it's sort of that angle that, that where my finger is there that should be a sword and so that's been ripped off also the spike has been ripped off it's supposed to be held on I don't know if you can see that it's got a couple of bolts still in situ it's supposed to be held on by four turn it around that way by four bolts to the base and the red hot shrapnel that's what a piece of shrapnel does it severely damaged it and that was on somebody's head at the time now when I'm talking about shrapnel I mean something like this that's a piece of World War Two British shrapnel sorry World War One British shrapnel should I say and that's where it plonks into the brass case there's the drive band now you can imagine that red hot flying through the air at a couple of hundred miles an hour anybody who got hit by that I don't rate the chances of survival very much so anyway something similar to that sigh through the top of that when it was on the guy's head and the Lincolnshire Regiment soldier that invaded the trench picked it up, brought it home and via that hole there he hung it up in his call house and it remained there till I got it in the late 1990s um, it's, su it's supposed to have a metal band coming up the back but that's been missing for years inside it's thick with coal dust it's dated somewhere although you won't be able to see it it's actually dated 1913 and it's marked up to JR18, Jaeger Regiment 18, oh no no sorry, JR48 which, now Jaeger Regiment 48 it became an elite Brandenburger unit in the Second World War so it's 1913 and regimentally marked you can just about if I can get it in the light, I'll put my thumb where the J is. You can oh, you can maybe or maybe not see there at the top of my thumb is a J. There's an R and there's a four and there's an eight. That's the hole where the guy hung up at. 
and about there there's a square box with the date 1913 in so that's what a piece of red hot flame shuttle does it's got a brass metal edge to the peak but all in all a very very rare survivor I mean you can buy pickle orbs in, in almost brand new condition but this one nice story to it brought back stayed with the guys family until I got it that's the badge of it um, the badge just fits on there it's supposed to be to hold the badge you've got them loops on there and to hold the badge to the helmet when you push it through the holes in the helmet you push it through the holes in the helmet and there's supposed to be some little bits of leather that push through to hold the badge to the helmet but obviously they've gone so all in all a really nice war relic and again that won't sit on there properly because the top's missing underneath the top there's supposed to be a circle of either metal or leather and that fits on the top and the bolts push through the top holes and they push through the corresponding leather or metal on the underside of the helmet and they splay outwards the, these pins these pins there they splay outwards to hold the, the spike to the helmet but obviously it's, it's been missing for a lot of years but all in all nice piece of kit other ranks leather helmet and um, you can get the bits to restore it but why bother nice story with it all totally genuine as I say that was picked up by a guy in the Lincolnshire regiment after being hit by something like that I've, I've treated it with a bit of leather food just to give it a bit of suppleness but it was absolutely black with coal dust when I got it and it, it still does smell now but nice piece of kit battle damaged World War One relic souvenir as you see on somebody's head at the time I'll just get around it again the badge is just standard pressed metal it's not gilt it's not brass but it's, it's retained its shape well because since the end of World War One it's been hung up like that it hasn't been flat, it hasn't had anything put on it it's just been hung like that all these years in an, in an outhouse and that's what saved it 